When I was younger, I had a dream someone hurt my mom. I spent the rest of the month thinking of ways to both protect her and torture this imaginary man. My uh, big plan was to tape open his eyeball and put it under a heat lamp for the rest of his whole life, eternity, dry it all out. I wasn't even seven years old yet. This was a malicious plan. This goes to show you how much I care about my mom. So this speech is dedicated to the most sweet, loving, overbearing, crazy mother that I have. Now, my mom loves me more than anybody ever will. And that also means that she cares about me more than anybody ever will. I remember back when I was in kindergarten, she used to lay out these super cool outfits for me to wear. They used to be Jordans, all white, all whatever. I was the best looking kid on the block for sure. I had these super cool fits on. And I was terrified to get them dirty every single day. Well, one day, we played heroes and villains at recess. And I ended up coming home absolutely filthy. I was terrified. I walked up to my mom. I said, Mom, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to ruin your outfit. I didn't mean to ruin this and that. And she said, Kay, don't worry. As long as you had fun throughout the day, you can come home filthy any day you want to. I took that to heart. And I ended up coming home filthy like every single day for the rest of the year. It was honestly amazing. And it changed like my perspective on like a lot of things, to be real. For her, money simply does not matter when it comes to me. I remember when we were moving to um, Oklahoma, we were like kind of broke. We didn't have any money. We couldn't even afford like bed frames. It was wild. And I was, it was the summer, so I was just home alone. New state, no friends, nothing to do. Sitting in my room, looking at the ceiling all day. And I told my mom, Mom, I'm lonely. I have nothing to do and I'm sad. Like, nothing for me to do all day. And somehow, she scrapped together just enough money to get me my very own Xbox. I was ecstatic. It made my year, it made my day. It just, just made me so happy. Even though we moved around a lot, she was meant with me throughout thick and thin, no matter what. She absolutely always had my back, even if I didn't always have hers. Once again, I remember in kindergarten, a lot of things happened in like kindergarten and first grade. Um, and I think Oklahoma it was, maybe it was pre-K or first grade. I was uh, the new kid. So a lot of the kids like to come and bother me. A lot of the girls like to come and bother me. I was just sitting there doing my own thing. I would get poked, harassed, yelled at, out of just everything. And so um, one day I just snapped. I started cursing out this girl, <coughs> seven, eight years old, cursing out this girl. Every single word that I knew, I yelled it at her. My teacher walked up to me. She said, how did you learn all these words? And I immediately sold out my mom. I was like, my mom taught me all of these words. She yells in traffic. I learned all of them from her. The next day we had a parent-teacher meeting and um, the teacher told my mom that I ratted her out, this, this, and that. She was trying to change my household. And my mom didn't get mad at me when we got back home for cursing out this little girl. She asked me, or not asked me, she told me, Kale, I'm gonna try my best to change. I'm gonna try my very best to make sure that you grow up correctly. So no matter what, she's always trying to hide me from hidden evils. No matter saying or anything like that, I remember whenever I used to go over to someone's house, she'd lecture me before. Okay, well, don't touch anybody. Don't use your hands to eat. Use a fork and a knife, even if it's a burger. She always wanted to make sure I had the right manners. And that made me the man I am today. She's super loving. She is, she's willing to sacrifice anything for me. She gave me my good looks, my great hair, absolutely everything I dedicated to my mom. So in conclusion, yeah, I love my mom. That's it, that's the speech.